So thank you for joining me for this UFT Tips and Tricks. My name is Dean Carvin. I'm the professional or director of professional services for Checkpoint Technologies. I've been using HP tools for about 16 years now. And one of the tools I love to use is unified functional testing. I use it as much as I can. It's a blast to use and um, also get a lot done with it. But one thing I use quite often, and I, I find that many people uh, whether they're new to UFT or have been using it for many years, are not aware of. And it's something that comes with the UFT install. It's kind of buried in the install uh, files. <clears throat> I'm going to show you where they are and show you how to use them. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is show you where these live. If you go to your C drive, to where UFT is installed on the HP folder, Unified functional testing. There's a folder under there called Code Samples Plus. So, Code Samples Plus has a number of utilities in there that we can use. And the first thing we're going to look at is the flight sample. So, with UFT comes a demo application. And this demo application will allow you to kind of practice techniques from UFT on that application. Also, if you ever have uh, been trained, uh, on using UFT, you likely use this application. This is a newer version of an old flight application, but um, these are some scripts that are built for that application that you can learn from how to structure scripts, how to use um, conditional statements, looping structures, uh, standard checkpoints, uh, custom checkpoints, things like that. And we'll take a look at these in just a minute um, inside of UFT itself. The other thing we have are a number of, of function libraries <clears throat> that can help us get a lot accomplished. And again, we'll take a look at these in UFT, but inside here we have a library that helps you work with databases, another library that helps you uh, develop random strings, send emails um, using the, the file system object, using Excel. Okay, we're going to take a look at a couple of these just to kind of give you an idea of how to utilize these in a script. Okay, so let's go to UFT. And from here, just click on open. And you need to navigate back up here. Where am I going? Oh, back up again. One more. Another one. There we go. And HP, UFT, Code Samples Plus. All right, so we're going to open up um, a flight sample. And we'll just open up, um, what do you want to open up? Date boundary. Okay. So what this script will do is, and we'll execute it because it executes right out of the box, but it kind of shows you a nice structure of using um, some reusable actions. So there's an open application action, there's an open order action, and those are called by the date boundary script itself. Okay. So if we take a look at the script itself, it has some parameters in there too. So you can learn to use parameters, has a couple conditional statements, and then calls those particular actions, open application and open order form. All right. So let's just run this and see how it goes. It only takes a minute. So the first thing it does is check if the application is op not open. It opens it and then logs in for us. Then it just kind of beats up on that date field. So this is kind of both positive and negative testing on that date field. Okay. We can look at the test results and check out the test results. Everything passed. So we can learn from them. We don't, that's not part of the I want, want you to learn. So, but we can learn from this script that you drill down into here. You can understand how to use subroutines, how to use internal functions to do things that you want to do. All right. Some of these, when we look at the other, at the function libraries, you can actually pull them into a script and use them pretty much as is. But also shows you how to use the reporter object and the different variations there. It's a great way to learn how to, how to use, um, 
uh, different parameters and constants and things like that. So little number scripts in there, pull those in and you can learn from those. All right, so let's take a look at some of those function libraries. So open, open function library. Let's take a look at, um, you know, one of the things that people use a lot with UFT is Excel. Excel, since it uses VBScript, is great at uh, utilizing Excel for external data files, to write to them, to manipulate them all you want. Um, there's really nothing you can't do with Excel using VBScript in UFT. Let's take a, a look at some of the functions that we have in here. So if we drop this down here, it shows us all the functions that we have available to us. So there's something, there's also a create Excel, of course, we want to create the Excel object, but there's a get sheet. So maybe sometimes you need to get the name of a sheet based on the location, the sheet identifier is a number. All right, and that's something you can just plug and play. There's an open workbook, you gotta start with that as well. Create the workbook, open the workbook, and you can see here, here's the parameters, here's the Excel app, and here's the path, and it'll open up that um, Excel workbook for you. And these can actually be pulled into your own library. So say you want to, maybe you don't need all of these, but I can say I want to create a new function library. All right, I'm just going to give it a name, just call it library one, leave it where it is. So I can take a number of these functions, and we'll, the comments are important too, so let's pull the comments and open, activate, and maybe I want to close as well. All right. Where it go? There it is. Copy. We have hit that right. There we go. So I can make this my own library, and I can modify the the, the arguments if I want to. I can do some other things, make some other calls to functions if I have to. Another great uh, function that people like to use or tend to develop it on their own are functions to actually send emails. And uh, there we are, sending email. So there's two options in here. Both of them work. It just depends on how complicated you want to get. Uh, one works with Outlook. And this is what one typically use. And this is really just a plug and play. You plug this in to your function library, make a call to send mail, who do you want to send it to? It could be a group. It could be semicolon delineated so that you can send it to multiple people, the subject, the body, and even a file to attach. This will work uh, pretty much as is. So great little tools to work with. Um, utilize them, whether you're a new person with UFT or been using it for a number of years. These are just great little tools to help you get up and started or save a lot of time on developing uh, functions that you need uh, or processes that you need um, because they're already pre-built. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope it helps and have a great day.